I'm not a big fan of Wi-Fi, as everything in my apartment with an RJ45 connector is plugged in into a switch. But I still need those radio waves to connect mobile devices to the local network and the worldwide interwebs. To make sure it doesn't totally suck, I quickly replaced the El Chippo Netgear router I got from my ISP with the ASUS RD68U. It was doing a pretty decent job at my old apartment, but when I moved to a much bigger place, it struggled to provide optimal performance on a 90 square meters area. I did see that coming, and I asked my contractors to run a CAT6 cable in the drop ceiling to the bedroom section hall for a PoE-powered wireless access point. I've been eyeballing Ubiquitous offering for quite a while now, but I never really had an excuse to get an enterprise-grade ceiling mounted wireless access point, right until now. After a thorough research, I decided to go with the UAP AC Lite, the smallest of all Unify UAPs with the diameter of 16cm and a little over 3cm height, so it's easier to convince the missus. The unit has an LED ring on top which indicates the current state of the UAP. It's not very bright, but you can turn it off should you desire so. If you manage a dozen of such devices, you can use the LED indicator to identify a particular unit. On the back, there's a LAN port and a reset button. Specs-wise, it features a dual-band 2.4 and 5 GHz radios and promises 300 megabits per second transfer rates at 2.4 GHz and 867 megabits per second at 5. It supports power over Ethernet and can be powered either off of a compatible networking device or using the enclosed PoE injector. The installation is pretty straightforward as long as you follow the instructions when drilling mounting holes. Since in my case there is no way of using the support bracket like the manual says, I'm using moldy screws to hold the mounting plate in place. Next, you thread the cable through the hole and cram an RJ45 connector. Connect the network cable, align the router and lock it in place. Connect the PoE injector to a power outlet, connect the cable going to the UAP to the PoE connector and run a cable from the other one to your router. To configure that bad boy, you need the Unify controller software. You can install it on a PC or Mac computer, but I myself run it on a Raspberry Pi. Although I did the initial setup on my PC and it wasn't a pleasant experience. For starters, the Unify controller software simply wouldn't start for no apparent reason. Long story short, it turned out you need over 3 gigs of free space on your system partition for the thing to work. Simple as that, but coming to this conclusion required quite a lot of log analysis and googling. Once the Unify controller is up and running, open a web browser and navigate to the Unify controller webpage to configure the UAP. The basic setup comes down to configuring 2.4 and 5 GHz wireless networks. As I want to roam between the ASUS router and the Ubiquiti UAP, I simply use the very same SSID and authentication information for both. I know that Ubiquitous devices support a seamless handover, but I've always wondered how to roaming between appliances from two different manufacturers. My Huawei P8 can switch between the two quite fast, without a single packet lost when pinging my gateway. I don't really use voice over IP, but I did test that with mixed results. Sometimes the connection would continue when switching between Wi-Fi's, but other times Messenger would drop the connection and head to redial. When it comes to numbers, the 2.4 GHz radio connection on mid-2012 MacBook Pro gets around 150 to 160 megabits per second. 5 GHz network performance on a mid-2013 MacBook Air ranges between 150 and 190. My Huawei P8 gets around 40 to 45 megabits per second in bedrooms, while my wife's iPhone 6S gets transmission speeds of up to 426. Not bad at all. Let's go back to the Unify controller for a sec. I got to admit that I really like the GUI. It looks very appealing and has plenty of features showing that it really means business. On the very left, you have a set of many items. Dashboard gives you an overview of your infrastructure of Unify enabled devices. Statistics provide an insight into network traffic usage. Map lets you import an image of your site and place your ubiquity devices onto it. It will show you a theoretical radio signal range for each frequency, 
but you shouldn't take that information seriously. The Devices menu lists all Unify enabled devices. Clicking an item will open a configuration settings pane for a selected device. Clients section lists currently connected devices, allowing to block selected ones. You can also view details and configure UAP connected devices in the right pane. Insights provides some additional information, such as neighboring wireless networks or guest access history. In the bottom menu section, there's an events icon enabling access to system notifications. Below it is the alerts icon, which opens a similar window with a list of alert type events. Next one opens the Unify controller configuration, when you can manage the site, wired and wireless networks, or guest access. Lots of options there. I myself am quite happy with the UAP AC light, and I'm actually considering going full ubiquity by getting another one of these for the living room and an edge router to replace my ASUS router. But is this something for you? Well, if you're a tech-savvy person, you can give it a try. I myself had to deal with a number of frustrating problems when setting up the Unify controller on my PC or adopting the UAP after upgrading its firmware. So if you're an average Joe consumer, I think you're better off with Asus or Netgear. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.